Hello and welcome. This is not going to be your standard review of the Jackery 500 Power Pack. In this case, we are looking specifically how many times can you charge an 18 volt tool battery off of one of these power banks. The way electrical storage is measured is in watt hours. So while this battery claims to be a six amp hour battery, you must multiply the six amp hours by 18 volts because it's an 18 volt battery and that will give you the number of watt hours. In this case, this is a 108 watt hour battery. Rigid has actually calculated that for you and written it here, 108 watt hours. If you're using a 36 volt tool, for example, a three amp hour 36 volt tool would have the same total capacity or watt hours as this 18 volt six amp hour battery. This Jackery unit has a total capacity of 518 watt hours. So the math should be pretty simple. How many times will 108 fit into 518? That's how many times you can charge this battery. Why did I even make a video? Unfortunately, in the real world, there are inefficiencies. So you've got a battery here, and then you have to step that up through this pure sine wave 500 watt peak or 500 watt uh, continuous inverter. When I tested that with this kilowatt meter that I got off Amazon a few years back, the output the Jackery was claiming on the screen compared to what was actually coming out the socket, it seems like this was running at about a 96% efficiency. I figured that's pretty good, but down the line in this charger itself, you've got the electronics that then have to step down from 110 volts down to the voltage of this battery. Plus it actually has to go into the battery itself. So charge this battery, you simply plug it in, plug this in like you would to the wall. There's several zones. So the electronics that you're gonna use, you're only gonna activate that particular zone. If I was charging my phone off of the USB, I wouldn't have that phantom drain of this inverter running in the background. I would just turn that off. The methodology I used to try to figure out what the total efficiency was, was assuming this was at 100% capacity and it's 518 watt hours. For every 1% that it drops down, it would be 5.18 watt hours per percent. So this thing started at 86%. This thing was completely dead and I killed it using this blower here. If you were to kill the battery on a higher capacity tool, like for example, a circular saw and you're going through a piece of wood, when the battery starts to get fairly low, it may trip the battery protection a little earlier while there's still some energy involved in the battery. Whereas with this, which is a fairly low draw unit, it takes about half an hour to drain this six amp hour battery. I know that it's completely dead when I begin with. So from completely dead, this thing went from 86% down to 58% to fully charge the battery. So it took 28% of the Jackery's capacity in order to charge this. 28% times that 5.18 watt hours per percent means that it took 145 watt hours of energy from here in order to get that 108 watt hours of energy into here for an efficiency of 74%. I was then curious, what happens when you go the other way around? One thing I was a little curious about is this claims to be a six amp hour battery. If they put out a battery that was only five and a half amp hours, people test these on YouTube, they get called out on it. So they tend to slightly underrate their batteries. So this could have been a 6.1 amp hour battery and I had no way of being able to tell all I know is this was brand new and this was brand new when I did the test. What I have here is a part from a SDS hammer drill that I purchased off eBay. I actually got one of these off eBay. It showed up at my house. It was completely fried inside. Managed to get my money back. It was a pawn shop that sold it and said, just keep, keep the tool, take your money back. We didn't have a battery to test it. We didn't know it was broken. So I was able to take the tool apart, learn what was inside and I got this part which plugs into the battery. You can actually purchase these for about $20 and they come with a USB plug to, to charge your phone off of. And just as an example, this is 108 watt hours. The Samsung Galaxy S10 that I'm filming this on 
has a battery capacity of about 12.5 watt hours. So you can charge your phone quite a few times off of a tool battery if you go that route. What I did is I, I took the wires from, they come off the battery at 18 volts and I put them into this female cigarette socket here. This normally plugs into your car at 12 volts or 14.4 volts if it's running. Simply plug it in and now I'm actually charging the power bank off of my 18 volt tool battery. Uh, it, it works great. It charges at about the same rate as you would normally do when you plug it into the wall or plug it into a car or with the solar panel charging. It sort of maxes out at about, well, it's charging at 68 or 67 watts right now, but it's, uh, it's at 98% capacity. The efficiency going back into the Jackery, uh, this thing was fully charged and I went from this reading 50% capacity all the way up to 67% capacity. So I was able to get a 17% gain on the Jackery. The gain times that 5.18 means that I was able to put 88 watt hours back in from a 108 watt hour battery for an efficiency of 81%. So coming out was 74%, going back in was 81%, and the total circular efficiency, it took 145 watt hours coming out of the Jackery to make 108 watt hours in the battery to make just 88 watt hours going back into the Jackery for a total circular efficiency of 60.6%. I'm not sure why you would ever want to do that specifically, but it is nice to know that if you want to increase the capacity of your power bank using some tool batteries that you have lying around already, you can do that and you would simply be doing that at an 81% efficiency. If you have a battery and you're curious, how many times can I charge it off of my power bank or you wanna be able to charge your particular battery say two times and you need to know what size power bank to purchase in order to do that, what you can do is figure out the watt hours of your battery just as an example the electric chainsaws are becoming more popular because they're actually useful tools these days. If you had a Milwaukee 18 volt electric chainsaw with a 12 amp hour battery, you would go 12 times 18, and that would give you the watt hours, which would be 216 watt hours. And rather than just using that 216 to figure out how many times you could charge it, because in this case, it was only 74% efficient, and the electronics involved in this situation, regardless of the brand of power bank or brand of charger or brand of battery, they're all going to be very similar. So you can use this as an example. You would divide that 216 watt hours of the big chainsaw battery by 0 0.74. That would give you a larger number. And that number would be 291 watt hours. So if you had a 12 amp hour, 18 volt battery, it would actually take 291 watt hours out of the Jackery. And so you'd only be able to charge that battery about one and three quarter times, not twice. I hope that is useful. Again, whatever tool you're using, figure out the watt hours of the battery itself, divide by 0 0.74, and that is the amount of energy it'll take out of your power bank in order to charge that tool battery. I was unable to find this information anywhere on YouTube. I even Googled it. So if this was useful to you, please smash that like button, help out the channel a little bit. And if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments. If, if you're curious about something that I was talking about in this video, I will check my comments and possibly make a video response for you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.